ladies. Okay, this is about my, sorry for my hair. I'm in my bathroom. This is the only private thing I have right now. Um, and even then, I have my daughter bust in here to come bring me a barrette. <laughs> this is like my fourth or fifth time taking this video. My cousin who does my hair, he called me at a hair emergency. He needs to do my hair. And um, <clears throat> my daughter, like I said, she busted in here with a barrette. Been getting phone calls. Um, all kinds of stuff. Getting stopped up in my video forgetting what I was going to talk about. Because I really didn't write it down this time. Um, okay, so um, let's start off with this. So I'm currently 11 DPO. Um, I don't know what cycle day, so I'm not even going to get into that because they don't have my brain going crazy. Um, so here's my first response from this morning. Mm, uh, can you see that? Uh, uh. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is negative. And then um, about an hour and a half ago, with a three-hour hold, um, I took this first signal which is an 88 cent Walmart test kinda you know seeing where I'm going so they're both negative like VAWA negative so I'm pretty sure that I'm not pregnant I don't want to say that and like like I don't know not to be like a negative Nancy or anything like that I'm just saying like I just you know kinda know um I've come to terms that something um may be wrong and I think that's why I'm not putting so much pressure on myself right now and um I feel like a lot of times that when we can't like kind of admit something to ourselves that God kind of like puts little like you know like puts little signs and everything around us like you know maybe a friend might bring it up or something you know somebody might bring something up and then you really start to think, like, maybe I should take this into consideration. Um, earlier on my video, my sister Kay, she was um, asking me, like, had I considered going to an RE to see if there was something wrong because she wouldn't want me to be trying for two years and something that it can get worse. And instead of getting it now and, you know, um, finding out. I've shared plenty of times with you guys that um, I had a chemical pregnancy in 2011, and um, I, I we we have one child together, and then our and then his child from a previous one night stand, <laughs> and um, so we um, so I but the oldest child she lives with us. So I always say I have two kids because. I never want her to feel any different. Um, and he has full custody of her now. So now we can go into legally adopting her. Um, me legally adopting her. So Your movie stopped? Okay, sorry. Ladies. You want to watch another one movie? Okay. Hold on, ladies. I'm going to put this video on pause. Hi ladies, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go um, put on a movie for the kiddos. Um, they wanted to, um, they were watching um, the movie Frozen. And now I put them on Despicable Me too. Um, see, that's what I said. I, 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 every time I try to like, to be like, oh, let me get over here. So anywho, um, so after seeing that, I felt like, okay, that was, you know, God's way of saying, you know, um, to kind of maybe I need to go to an RE. So I wasn't sure if, um, so uh, first of all, so I went to my husband and I talked to him about it and I was telling him, I was like, I think there may be something wrong. And he was saying, well, you know, we said we were gonna try for a year and everything and all this. And I'm like, well, we're just a few months shy of a year. So, cause if we do not get pregnant this cycle, then I will be going to a ninth cycle. And my birthday is in August. I kind of want to be, um, you know, kind of, you know, pregnant, <clears throat> so to say, or visiting a doctor and knowing what I should do. Um, I already, like, I don't drink alcohol. If I do, it's like once. Like, once I have a negative, like, once I start my period, then that's when I may have a drink with my husband or something like that. But I normally, I do not drink throughout the cycle. Um, 
I just don't. So he he gave up um, alcohol and everything. So we don't we don't drink. Um, like I say, every now and again, I you know when I start my you know period, but that's it. Um, like I he was diagnosed with not like they were saying basically he's not diabetic, but if he continued to eat the way he was eating and being the way he was being, then he was going to be a full blown diabetic. But as long as he lost the weight. And everything into, you know, everything just started changing the way he's eating. Now, in the beginning, he was in denial. And this is when we first started trying. So, this is why I felt like that was a problem. Well, since then, he's lost about a good 60 pounds. And the doctor is very proud of him. And the thing is, he's regulating what he's eating and everything. And another thing is, he doesn't even take the metformin. And he takes his blood sugar. He takes everything. And he is good. So, I thank God for that because I really was praying for him because he was really not listening to me. So, um, you know, I make corrections by taking supplements and, you know, changing what I'm eating and not necessarily dieting, just cutting back on, okay, well, I'm not going to eat so much bread, but I'll eat more vegetables. Like, you know, so I was doing that. Um, so, I just talked to him and basically, like, laid it out to him, like, we've made all these lifestyle changes and nothing has worked. Not even a, not to say that I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, you know, to go through that pain of having a chemical pregnancy, but not even a chemical pregnancy at all. And like I said, I have not been pregnant since 2011 when I had the chemical pregnancy. So when I think about that, I'm like, it's basically been three years since I've gotten pregnant. So, hmm, something might be wrong. So I decided to contact my insurance and they were um, letting me know because I didn't know if they paid for things like that or not. And um, they said they have a whole providers list that you can look for one in your area and all this kind of stuff. And really, I only found like one provider that was like 15 miles. I'm not going no further than 15 miles. And so um, it's at a hospital called um, St. Joseph Hospital. So and she's also an OBGYN. My thing is with that, I love my current OBGYN. So it's kind of having me torn. Like, do, but I know this is what I really want, this baby. So maybe I can just like get pregnant and then switch back to my OBGYN. Um, I don't know what just, just happened. My